What's up guys, what's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan, Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? Uh, as you can see, we're gonna do some unboxing here, but you already know, got this green tape. It's from Ryanette or Rock or Riley Hopkins, or whatever, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and open it, but first I think we're gonna open the bigger one because I believe this is from the, the the people that I got the press from, the Riley 500 um, for the replacement clamps. We're gonna go ahead and open it. Got the spade here. We got two, two of these replacement clamps. Take those things off. Um, it actually should be replacing, supposed to replace the one that was uh, stripped, which was, um, put this thing down real quick. This one right here. This one right here where I put my little DIY knob here. As you can see, it's smaller than the other ones. Um, what I did was I've already re-tapped this thing. Uh, so the screw can go in and out so this is working so thank goodness so it looks like we're gonna have these as spares which is nice nice to have spares right or extra parts I guess all right so let's let's put this thing away all right so let's open up this one this one's actually uh, ordered through Ryan it um, it's just uh, I believe these are the replacement knobs and things so let's see Let's see what we got here. Alright, so we did have, or we did get these replacement knobs. Again, it's for the clamps up here. We're going to replace the one that I did. This one with these ones right here. Go ahead and put that there. I think these come, yep. Here's the, um, the nuts and bolts for it. And I did order extra of these legs. These, these, they call this the Levitt leveling mount. So it levels the press um, and it, you know, off the ground. So it keeps it level. I ordered two extra of these just in case. But these are, these are the, one of the most important ones. Um, so these are your registration knobs. Registration knobs. It actually will replace Son of a gun. As you guys can see, I'm missing one of them here. So I got the replacement for it. We're gonna put that in. And also the uh, the tilt. I think these are, I don't know what these things are called. I think these are called our stop nut or something like that. Stop something. They're, oh, well actually I got, what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of them and I think I should have one as a spare. Yeah, I'll have one as a spare. This one already has it, as you guys can see on the tilt. Has a stopping knob right there. And the rest don't even have it. So we're gonna replace all of them. All right, let's get right to it. All right, first things first is we're going to put the new registration knob right here. Get one of our kits. Oh, nice, they gave you the tool, the Allen wrench. All right, so why is this thing loose? I don't think we're gonna Slowly tie it until it catches. Why does it go all the way down? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So, all right, so what I did was I put the original knob on this side. For some reason, it fits better here. I'm gonna put this knob here. Tie it down with an Allen wrench. Just snug fit it, make sure it's, it's sitting in that little groove. There we go. Let's put this back in the bag so I won't lose it. Put this back in the box. All right, let's loosen this up. Let's see if it works. All right, it works. Let's set it to zero. There we go. Tighten it up. We're good. All right, now so let's take this cheap knob that I put here and uh, replace it with this one. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and uh, back this thing off. So this is 9 16 Break that 
loose. I believe this is also a knife. Well, this is what I put in. So, take all these screws off. Once again, this was stripped, the hole here. So, I had to re tap it. Make sure, uh, yeah. Everything's working now. All right, let's put in the supplied hardware. These are two separate uh, nuts or separate size. So one's, uh, I think, half inch, one is uh, 1 16th. So you put the small one on top, the big one on the bottom. Like so. Then you put the washer right under it. And what we're going to be using this um, lock nut. It has a, uh, a nylon lock in, in the bottom of it. So we're going to use that to lock it into place. And 16th, I believe. Yep. So what you do is just hold it down and turn it until it it comes out just a little bit what you need to do is back it off just a little bit so it'll sit right on the uh, flush side of this uh, clamp put this thing down make sure it has room to turn just a little bit just a little bit of room to spin around and you lock it into place I think the bottom was 5 8 right No, oh, it's not 5 eighths. 11 sixteenths. See uh, how it's, too, it's really tight? This one spins really easily, so I have to back it off just a little bit. There we go. Goes up and down freely. Now we need to add all the um, the stop, the stop lock or stop. I don't know what it's called. The stop things <laughs> on the other five heads. So this one already has it. Let's just keep it moving, right? that's it I think the press is good to go we got all the missing pieces and parts that we needed to, to fix so everything's good to go um, I know you guys are eager for me to start pressing and start using this um, press but we are missing one more thing one more unit um, that's hopefully coming in within the next I don't know seven days hopefully um, I was actually hoping to get it by um, by tomorrow Thursday or Friday of this week but I don't think it's gonna happen but hopefully uh, Monday Tuesday it shows up and we can get it set up and dialed in but yeah the press is ready to go um, other than you know just me wiping it down cleaning it a little more but everything's good it's leveled I was thinking of getting the the laser alignment system that they have which hooks up to this piece and it comes up and it just shoots laser down to get an alignment I was thinking of getting it I don't know I don't know if I want to spend um, was it like 350 bucks for it I don't know I don't know if I want to do that but maybe I don't know maybe uh, later on but definitely not right now we're just waiting for that one particular piece I'm sure you guys can figure out what I'm waiting for um, then at that we're gonna be rocking and rolling and uh, testing out how the new system works and how this press works so yeah we're playing this waiting game guys so it's going to be 
Uh, we're going on two weeks now without printing, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, and I'm sure we can get it going soon. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.